Hello everybody, welcome to the Uzi Sports Show, I'm Jared Veluzzi, and the New York Catholic High School Football League is finally getting underway, and one of the best matchups in the state that I'm here to break down for you, Iona Prep, Kellenberg, Saturday night, 6pm, Mitchell Field, let's get it on. So, for the Gales, they come into this game as one of the most loaded senior classes by far. They have a ton of college commits. This offensive line is scary, to say the least. You got Franklin McFadden running behind. You got Darius Wilson slinging the football. Iona Prep, they can really play over there. And you look at Kellenberg, their offense is pretty good as well. No Ethan Greenwood, who is their starting quarterback. That's going to be a big loss for the Firebirds here. But Thomas Luca could still throw the ball. And Maximus Mongelli, one of the best receivers in New York, is going to have to make some plays here, as well as their running back, Griffin Chernoff. So you look at Kellenberg, they are a big underdog in this game. If they do pull off this victory, I'd argue it's the program's biggest win in the last 15 years because on paper, Iona Prep's the best team in the state. So that would be their biggest high-profile victory that the Firebirds have had in some while. So let's really get into it here. When you look at these two teams, if Kellenberg wants to be successful, they're going to have to battle up front and really survive that and do a decent job from not just getting destroyed by these huge Gale linemen. Because I don't know, not only is their offensive line scary, you got some great D linemen. Taj McDowell is no joke. I really think he's going to have a breakout season. And obviously, Cordae Sidnor, the 6'5", 280-pound Purdue commit, is no joke either. So, you know, they got some guys on the D line as well. And if Kellenberg is able to survive the matchup up front, they can make this a game. They can really make this a game. Because... If they do do a decent job paving holes, then it's up to Griffin Chernoff, big number 22 for the Firebirds, to make some plays. He's a terrific athlete. I really think he can make some plays if he gets the holes. That's going to be a big part for Kellenberg, establishing the run game and getting off to a quick start. But the defense is going to be an issue in this game. Their defense is not talented enough to keep up with Iona Prep, and that's just the truth. When they played against AAA teams last year, they got burned. Christ the King put up 67. Cardinal Hayes put up over 50. And I think... I don't know if it's going to be the exact same story this time, but the Gales' offense is just as talented as those two teams, if not even more, when you look at the offensive line and the talent that Darius Wilson has around him. So, I think Iona Prep, they're going to score a lot in this game. They are. So, for the offense of Iona Prep, they're just going to have to execute. They are the better team. They have more explosive players. They have a bigger offensive line. Can Coach Spags get these players to execute and not underestimate this Kellenberg team? It's the first game they've had in a while. They have to come out firing, which I think they will. So the Gales' offense is really going to play well. But the main question, Iona Prep's defense. When they lost games, they let up a lot of points. So the Gales' defense is going to have to come out firing. They're going to have to come out hidden. And getting pressure on Thomas Sluka is going to be the story of this game if the Gales want to win. Because... If Kellenberg wins this game, Saluka's going to have a dead. But Iona Prep is going to have to get to the passer. They're going to have to put pressure on the first-year varsity starter. So that's going to be something for Iona Prep to really look out for here. And basically for the Gales, when it comes to their secondary, locking down Maximus Mongelli is going to be a priority for them. Because last year when they went against a kid like Kuno Mendez, they got absolutely torched. They're not going to want that to happen here. And Mongelli is also one of the best receivers in the state. So he can really put on a show against anyone. So Ethan Robinson and a couple of those DBs out there in Iona Prep, they're really going to have to come out to play. They're going to have to bring their A game, and if they do that, I think they shut down Kellenberg if they bring their A game. So for Iona Prep, it's just about coming out and bringing their best game because they have a lot of talent. It's all about putting it together. And like I mentioned before, Kellenberg is going to be key to have a quick start here. If they win, it's going to be a shootout, but can Iona Prep's defense make sure Kellenberg doesn't make it a shootout? Can the Kellenberg offense, especially the offensive line, pave holes and play really well? My answer is no. I like Iona Prep here in a comfortable victory. If Kellenberg does pull this off, it'd be one of the biggest wins that their program has ever had. I just don't think the talent is quite there yet when you look at this Gales team. Bigger, stronger, faster. I think Iona Prep puts up a lot of points. I do think Kellenberg is able to score. I think Mangeli gets in. I think Turnoff gets in as well. But when you look at Iona Prep... Darius Wilson, not only could he throw the ball, he could run it as well. I think Iona Prep, they do it on the ground. They do it through the air. They're going to put on a show. I like them to put up a lot of points up in Mitchell Field. 
Give me Iona Prep over Kellenberg in week one. Everybody, that's it for the Uzi Sports Show. I hope you guys like this video. Follow me on Twitter at Jared Veluzzi and make sure to subscribe. Have a good one, everybody.